Marine Monitor Systems have been deployed across the world's oceans to provide affordable and accessible technology for managing human activity. The ocean is a data poor environment and any piece of information that we can produce regarding the ocean and human use around it is valuable. So what we have done is created a tool to collect that data and provide deeper understanding in how the marine environment is being used, which then can inform decision makers like resource managers or law enforcement on how to best manage and protect these special places. Marine protected areas, or MPAs, are increasingly being used to conserve ecosystems, but illegal fishing inside their boundaries can threaten conservation success. There are a number of solutions for monitoring activity near MPAs, including traditional methods like AIS and VMS systems, and developing technologies like drone surveillance and satellite-based systems. But these can be limited by revisit time, cloudy conditions, and may not perform well in highly trafficked urban coastal areas. Shore-based radar is an effective method for monitoring non-cooperative vessels at an affordable cost. Radar designed for navigation is a familiar tool for many vessel operators and is especially useful for monitoring local areas at a high resolution. M2 integrates radar tracking with custom software and AI to record and report on activity near MPAs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, turning it into a virtual security system. M2 systems are typically deployed along the coast, either integrated with existing power and internet or using a mobile off-grid trailer. With M2, MPA managers can monitor live activity on the water using a simple online viewer. Email and text alerts provide real-time notifications of potential illegal phishing. Custom reports show heat maps of traffic and identify times of peak activity. These daily, weekly, and monthly reports can help MPA managers plan patrols more effectively. Over 30 M2 systems have been deployed across 10 countries, with more sites identified and deployments in progress. These systems monitor MPAs in a variety of areas, from remote island locations to urbanized coastlines. In Southern California, M2 data were used to successfully convict a commercial passenger fishing vessel that was poaching inside MPA boundaries. So much of conservation work is driven by uh, data and needs to be driven by data in order to protect marine protected areas and marine regions. We need to understand trends and what's, what's happening. We need to understand the scale and the nature of the problems that exist in those areas. M2 also helps communities in developing states effectively manage their MPAs and fisheries. Data to support decision making and affordable technology help reduce enforcement costs, saving gas and valuable patrol time. My name is Junior Tamal, and uh, I am um, a long state Division of Conservation and Law Enforcement Coordinator. Uh, Maralong is uh, 197 uh, square kilometers marine area and uh, about 42 square kilometers of it is uh, protected areas. The main threats we face today as uh, enforcement officers for uh, Maralong DCLE is uh, mainly poachers as well as uh, effects of climate change. With a partnership of One Reef, we uh, had a, an M2 uh, radar, and um, it's a very good tool to use. Because M2 is a lower cost monitoring system, NGOs have donated systems to smaller communities that have applied for help monitoring their local MPAs. The lower cost of the M2 and its high resolution view of the coastline appeals to governments for diverse applications from whale conservation to marine safety. M2 also partners with funders to identify MPAs that would benefit from this technology and get systems in the field. To ensure success, we evaluate appropriate sites based on geography and community engagement. Contact us if you have a special marine area near shore that needs protection or want to support the protection of more MPAs around the world. Communities 
um, uh, taking care of their own places. So um, I think that's our, our vision is, is really to get this ramped up to hundreds of endangered marine protected areas in the next 10 years. And we hope that uh, you'll join us.